I just sawed through one of the brake lines and this battery is completely dead. I'm wearing rubber gloves just in case. We're moving! Huh? <laughs> I've hit one of those moments in this project where I just feel so exhausted. I think I've just done like five days straight, 16 hour days, literally only stopped to eat and um, sleep and not even sleep enough barely get any sleep so last night i think i got five hours maybe I haven't washed wearing the same clothes and been eating junk food and energy drinks so all of this hasn't helped and i just feel like we're barely making any progress it's just so slow i really hoped by the end of today that we could be close to finished, but Jehu told me last night we're probably only 80% there, which is so disheartening. We've got so much to do still. This is the next task. All of these holes need screwing in, then unscrewing, cleaning, and then um, I've got this silicon that I need to seal all of these joints with. So that's that box, and then still got this box to do, this box to do. That box to do. So, it's very hard. I'm aching all over. My hands just hurt from holding tools and oh, all my muscles hurt. I just need a massage. And I need to soak in a bath for like an entire day. This is, this is hard work. I feel like I need a boost of morale right now. The reason that I'm excited to get this on the road is that I haven't had a vehicle for forever. And this is gonna mean me and Raya can go on little romantic weekend getaways. I'm gonna be running a podcast from inside the bus where I pick up friends and interview them and then we go and do volunteer work and we drive somewhere and then so anyway I've got all these plans and ideas um, but they are delayed. I'm gonna do the same with the tops and screw those on, get all the holes ready, and then I'm gonna take them off again and seal them and then screw them back on. I've just got this rusty metal primer. Okay, the primer has dried, I'm gonna put a top coat on now. It is time to test the coolant system. So I've kind of jerry-rigged this fun experiment. So I've got a car battery. This was actually really low voltage, like it, it was pretty dead. So I'm charging it up with this. This is giving me just over 12 volts output, which is what I need to power this. This is a PC cooling pump. It goes out of here into the input and then through these pipes into here, out of here, into here, out of here. And then the output goes back into the reservoir, which will be full of coolant. I've got some coolant here, antifreeze. So I'm gonna fill up that, start the pump, and then just check that it's all working properly. It should just circulate and circulate. So this normally plugs somewhere inside the computer that's just a positive and negative. I've made these little cables up, which I'm gonna try and plug into that and just see what happens. This is my dodgy cabling. <laughs> I think this antifreeze you add water to, so I'm gonna do a 50-50 mix. This is a good um, experiment actually to see how much we need per battery. It's looking pretty good. All the air bubbles are clearing. Nice, 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 nice. 
since I've got this set up ready, I'm gonna wheel this main battery, this triple battery box out, and then put the other battery boxes here and spin them around and just basically do the same thing, do a test of all the uh, cooling pipes. It seems to be working fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. run the tubes all the way to the other end because this is going to be butt up right against the big battery pack and uh, there's going to be no access. I'm kind of nervous because the next thing I need to do is seal the box up. <sighs> I think it's ready. I think I've done pretty much all that I can. I've got this gun ready. So I'm going to clean the edges first with this brake cleaner to get all the grease off and then I need to cut this and then run, run some beads along here. sweating this is the craziest craziest thing trying to line this up is a mission I've probably been un under here an hour trying to do this This signifies a pretty major milestone in the build. This is the most complex, biggest box, and it's mounted and it's ready. Oh my gosh. This is a major achievement, and I'm pretty sure it's, it's secure. Ah, this shouldn't be bowing this much. I feel like we need to figure something out here, because that, that's messed up right there. It's probably like 8 a.m. now. I'm trying to get out of here by five. 7 a.m., okay. I'm gonna go get breakfast, have a long bath, try and sleep because I've barely slept in the last five days. And then when I come back, I'm gonna get that box here, same way I've done this box, these two single boxes either side, and then that final box in the back there is gonna go up here somewhere. And then we're gonna connect them all together with this huge cable. I have sealed and screwed together another box. This is the second biggest box, which is gonna live behind this front one here. And it is ready to mount. I'm worried that this handle, which cannot be taken down, is gonna hit onto the bottom there. But let's see, let's see if this works. <sighs> A tight squeeze. problems I'm finding is because when I aligned it all to drill the original holes the boxes didn't have the batteries in because obviously they're super heavy and I thought they were straight because I, I even attached like the tops just to keep them at right angles but just the slight misalignment means the holes are slightly up so I have to drill right next to them and hope that it doesn't compromise the strength this is the drill bit I need. There's actually only one more box to mount and then this box is actually doesn't need to be mounted in the same way because that's just going to be in the back there so we're so close. We're going to get this done tonight. Okay, so it's half past 12. We're going to do it. Very 
feel like this is all I've been doing for like a month. But look, they're all sealed and mounted. This is incredible. Oh yeah. So the last thing I need to do is just connect all the power cables and then I'm gonna put the sealant on here and put these bottoms on. This is huge. Jehu was telling me today that no one's put this many batteries underneath a bay window VW before. He said he's heard of someone putting six, but we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. This is basically, this is one of a kind. And we have utilized every last millimeter of space under here. <laughs> Unreal. There, you can see a bit better without that light glaring. Those are the battery boxes. Wow. I feel like all I've been doing for the last month is building these boxes. They're finally built and mounted, so it's time to plug them in, do these, this cabling. So I'm just measuring out the cable lengths, and then I've got this crimping tool, which Jay-Z's just showed me how to use, and this it crimps the connectors on the end, and then those attach to the battery terminals. Okay, it's time to run the cables, finally. I guess we still need enough slack to push it through and do what we did here. It doesn't matter if it's like that way or that way, right? No. No. So these single battery boxes here, they need smaller cables which are going to split off from this larger cable so i'm basically about to crimp two of these smaller gauge cables in with this one because all the other boxes they're linked in parallel two modules and these two modules need to be linked in parallel through these across the bus if you understand this is exciting i'm this is like a fun phase to move into because i feel like it's way way faster i'm thinking like yeah that's that's fine Two, and those were able to go in there, right? They went in there tight? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, they were tight. The so they, these are both like up to like halfway with the... Yeah. So this is the right size. are in most of the cabling's done and I've just started putting in the um, coolant pipes. I um, didn't get quite as much as I wanted to get done but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now the boxes are done and the cabling was pretty quick and uh, yeah then we have to fit a box in there that I've got over here. So this, this grey box here is going to hold all of the internal electronics and um, yeah, that's gonna be mounted over there with the final battery. And then we need to mount the motor and the chargers and yeah, it's all coming together. Back at the bus, Tarzan's come to help today. I'm gonna to get him to help me mount this little um, electronic throttle. Probably, it's either gonna mount here and then when I put my foot in the accelerator, we'll pull it and send a signal to the motor. Or he's suggesting following this cable back and seeing if we can connect it at the back here somewhere. Um, adjusted the cable so there's more play here, but you have to figure out if it's better to mount it like upright like that or spin it around. But it's a little cockeyed there. So, oh well, maybe it'll work. I'm currently putting all these coolant pipes in, like mounting them just so they're being held nicely. Just going around all the boxes and making sure that they're going in. I'm just about to cut this one. Yeah, I'm just putting a T-section in so I can split it off into that out and inlet. Okay, this is the last pipe I need to put in. And then everything is in. Check it. And I've like mounted everything so it's pretty secure. I'm just gonna strip the, the insulation off. Check it. Nice. So, let me get this bad boy. 
So that thing just smashes it down, it wet. Yeah, it's like a pneumatic. Just like pump it and it just cr crimps it real tight. Ah, oh, nice. And now we can pull this. The last thing we're gonna do before we lift the box up and mount it in place is check the cooling pipes, like the whole cooling system. It, I think it's all in. So we're just gonna turn it on and see if there's any leaks. There shouldn't be. We've just kind of like hacked together this little connector. Just careful not to let those two touch. Too yeah, close. yeah, that's what happened last time. This is gonna look cool in the back. It's gonna look like a flux capacitor. Oh, capacity. careful, it's going through. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's turn that off. Okay, so. When this, when this connects, it should start pumping. Oh, I see. Nice. Oh, yeah, I can hear it. So then this will start pumping out. <laughs> oh, this is epic. Wow. Such a crazy science project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's flying through right now. But it's not coming out yet. Right, let me go and get some more. <laughs> it's so crazy. There's still a lot of air in there. Oh, here we go. Is that? I mean, it's definitely moving. So this pipe eventually will become, there'll be no air bubbles. Yeah. Dang, yeah, there's a lot going in there, huh? Yeah. It's flying through all of the batteries. Yeah. Oh, wow. This looks so epic. Dude, yeah, it totally looks like a crazy experiment right now. Bad news, we were moments away from mounting the motor and I got a little bit excited with the impact drill and broke one of the bolts. 